I'm Radio's Rebel DJ Style, this is Reputation vs. Reality, and today, we're gonna talk about the Beatles. Now before we dive in a brief history, the Beatles started in Liverpool in 1960 with John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison, later adopting in Ringo Starr in 1962. The Beatles are the best-selling musical act of all time, with an estimated over 600 million units sold. All four members have found themselves a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, both as the Beatles and individuals. Jumping right into the quality of their music, the Beatles are known for having notoriously simple songs, largely relying on the chords A, D, and E. But complexity doesn't equal catchiness, and if nothing else, the Beatles songs are insanely catchy. The Beatles blew up the pop and rock charts alike in the early to mid 60s and then with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band made a major style change to psychedelic rock. Psychedelic rock is a subgenre of rock and roll largely based on the culture of hallucinogenic drugs. Now psychedelic rock is great, but it's tricky because the problem lies with relying too much on that hallucinogenic aspect of it. Great music should be great music regardless of the state of mind you're in. For example, we all have songs we listen to when we're sad, but are those songs still great when we're not sad? The problem that psychedelic rock runs into a lot is they rely too heavily on that state of mind. Here's a little experiment. Find somebody who's never listened to the Beatles before and show them Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and see their reaction. Most likely, if they're not under the state of any kind of hallucinogenic drug, they're not going to think it's as great as you remember it being. Now there's good examples and there's bad examples of psychedelic rock, and unfortunately the Beatles fall largely in that category of bad examples that rely too heavily on hallucinogenic drugs to enhance their music. Taking a step back and looking at how the Beatles blew up the pop and rock charts with the British invasion in the early 60s to their transition to psychedelic rock later on, and seeing the impact they had, the Beatles were huge. However, looking back critically, we see that their biggest early hits largely relied on those same three chords that we talked about and are nothing that would blow anyone out of the water today. And as for their psychedelic rock era, that isolated an entire section of fans that only had that mindset. I don't feel right not giving the Beatles a star for their quality of music, so for this, I'm giving them a half a star. Moving away from the music aspect, let's talk about the impact the Beatles had on the individual members of the band. Now unfortunately, two of the four members are no longer with us, but we're going to start with the man who proclaimed the Beatles are bigger than Jesus, John Lennon. John Lennon left the band to pursue his own career with his then wife Yoko Ono before unfortunately meeting his untimely demise in 1980. Paul McCartney went on to find great solo success as well as success with his band Wings, and even going as far as to be knighted to become Sir Paul McCartney. George Harrison would also go on to find success in a solo career before unfortunately passing away in the year of 2001 at the age of 58 due to lung cancer. Now with two of the four Beatles no longer being with us and one of them and John Lennon being credited for breaking up the band, combined with the single success that Paul McCartney has had, nothing compares to the absolute pain that Ringo Starr has put us through with his MS paint art. And for that, the Beatles get half a star. Moving forward to the impact the Beatles had on the music industry is unprecedented. From the Eagles' Joe Walsh to the Bee Gees to Dave Grohl who told Access Hollywood he learned how to play guitar from a Beatles songbook, the Beatles have changed the landscape of the music industry forever. And for that, they get a star. Like their impact on the music industry, the Beatles have changed society at large, transcending pop culture and becoming the greatest selling artist of all time, and a household name even still in 2020. Last but not least, longevity and last ability. Have the Beatles stood the test of time? Absolutely. Still a namestay on classic rock stations across the world, as well as movies and TV shows, the Beatles are still a household name in 2020, and there is not a single person who doesn't know the name The Beatles. In closing, the Beatles are blindly ranked a 5 out of 5 by the public because for the last 40 years, we've heard nothing but how the Beatles are the greatest band of all time. Looking back at it critically, we find we're not far off at all. With a 4 out of 5 star ranking in reality, the Beatles are still one of the greatest bands of all time. But of course, music is entirely subjective, 
and I'd love to hear where you think the Beatles should be ranked, as well as any other artists you'd like to see me cover in the future in the comment section below. For now, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I've been Radio's Rebel DJ, and this has been Reputation vs. Reality. Mm -hmm.